All right, House of Pain fans, uh, this will be like my last big video about the show before it comes on tomorrow night. I've already done videos about the premiere and episode two, but this is more of a like an extended cut where I kind of voice my thoughts on everything and uh, we'll go from there. So before moving forward in the video, please take a moment to hit the like button. Let's try to get to 100 likes. Also, go ahead and hit subscribe because we are closing in on 100 75,000 subscribers. Also, hit the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content to the channel, which is a big deal due to the fact that, you know, this week we have three shows returning. Next week we got the haves and the have-nots. Then the following week we have sisters. And then, of course, you know, that's a lot of shows right there. And also follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Now, this video was an idea for me to do prior to seeing the episode synopsis for season 10, episode two. And that's heavily going to be focused on Calvin and Laura with probably some Miranda sprinkled into the mix. And I was thinking to myself, you know, um, I wonder if in season 10, Calvin's going to go back to Miranda because it's not that I don't like Laura. It's just that I don't think we've seen enough of her character to warrant her and Calvin getting married and making it somewhat believable. I just feel like if nothing else, we got far too much Miranda last season and not in a good way. It's like she's an insufferable, intrusive, whiny character who I honestly don't know who was rooting for her. Everybody was rooting for her to come back. It's like, oh, all the trailers, we got Calvin, we got Miranda. This is going to be good. I wonder how their interactions will be post-divorce. But then you find out the divorce isn't even finalized because the timeline is loopy and we're not having that discussion in this video. But I was just wondering, you know, there are so many things we didn't know about Laura last season. All we know is that she's Calvin's new girlfriend, but oh no, she's Miranda's best buddy at work. And they, you know, talk about Calvin without mentioning a name. Wow, doesn't this sound familiar? Karen and then being mad at Zach and Fatima not mentioning her name. But in any case, basically a situation where Calvin was being told, well, excuse me, the Calvin's character was being tarnished by what Miranda was saying about him at work to Laura. And then when Laura found out, she walked out on Calvin, which was the same night he met his parents. But then she randomly decided to go back to the house to talk with Ella about Calvin and then went over to the loft to talk to Calvin. And then they made up and then Miranda walked in on him. And then we never see her again, but it's mentioned in the finale that Calvin was talking to Miranda about proposing to Laura and it's like wait how much time has gone by these two what the hell's going on here so my and my biggest question was hmm after Miranda walked in on Laura and Calvin what was the dynamic you know uh why don't we ever see Miranda and Laura at work or outside of work hanging out like you know are, is their friendship compromised is it like Laura's like look girl I know that was your husband you're about to get a divorce, but I like them. And hey, all all's fair in love and war. Are these two still friends? I don't know. But the synopsis for the second episode, a painful lesson. Calvin goes out of his way to show Laura how wonderful their marriage will be despite what went wrong in his previous marriage with Miranda. So honestly, and based on this, and I'm going to be making sister similarities here because there's a lot going on. Hopefully in the next season, season three of Sisters, Karen isn't as annoying as Miranda was in season nine of House of Pain, but I think that's probably what's going to happen. It's just the fact that, you know, Karen was just, I mean, in the trailer, she's just angry and pissed off at everybody. And then in season nine, Miranda was just whining so much. I feel like these two will be whining, but in different ways. So I'm wondering if, and this is something I don't want to happen. What if Calvin, while trying to show Laura how he'll do things right, unlike how he did things with Miranda. Maybe he'll remember the good times with Miranda, and then Laura might see, hey, it's like you called me Miranda instead of Laura, or hey, when you show me this spot, you know, where you and Miranda used to go or whatever, you're I can see it in your eyes that you're thinking about her. It might be a situation where Laura might reject the engagement, walk away from Calvin, because she looks at him and then realizes what he'll realize. And that's the fact that, you know what? In trying to show you how wonderful our life together would be,
based off how wrong things were when I was with Miranda, it makes me want to go back to Miranda and do things right with her. I would hate for that to happen, mainly because of the fact that in a way it isn't horrible because that's actually a great way of writing it where you have season nine, Calvin just detesting and hating being even around Miranda and not wanting any of his family to interact with her. But at the same time, it's like it really doesn't do much for the Miranda character because it makes it feel so undeserved. Now, I know there are some people who are ride or die for Calvin and Miranda, like Zach and Kelly from Saved by the Bell or Corey and Topanga from Boy Meets World. But at the end of the day, if Miranda was written differently in season nine, you would feel a bit more sympathetic for her. But just based on the way she was at, based on the way she was portrayed last season, I don't think she deserves to get Calvin back. Now, who's to say this season 10 wouldn't write Miranda in a more tolerable fashion? But it just won't erase the negative impact her character had in season nine. That's just my two cents. I could be wrong here. But in my opinion, I, I don't I feel like we need to see more of Laura in order for me to have a solid opinion on the character. I just feel like based on what we've seen, I honestly don't buy the relationship with Calvin because she's only made like what two episode appearances, two or three. But either way. I just feel like we're in a situation where um, I really hope that we don't get an undeserved, um, you know, reconciliation between Calvin and Miranda. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If, and I mean if, Calvin and Miranda get back together, how do you think it should be done so it will be tasteful as opposed to fan service? Because I feel like if this season has a different direction... Uh, compared to season nine it feels like it might be a situation where they'll do a crap ton of retcons and it's almost like i feel like tyler perry might treat season nine of house of pain like season one of the pains where oh it was just a bad dream and it's like you know what i saw how much negative feedback season nine got let's try to get back to the status quo in season 10 and make it right so it'll be like hey remember how miranda was acting in season nine she's not going to act anything like this in season 10 so then will people will like her again and then calvin will dump laura and get back with miranda you, you see what i'm seeing uh you see what i'm saying here hopefully it's a different situation altogether but uh like i said if calvin and miranda got back together I would only want it if done right because no offense because I love uh, Keisha Knight, but I didn't see the need for Miranda last season. I think it's because we got too much of her because people were expecting her so much. But when she eventually came back, it just it was just so underwhelming because it's like a fan favorite who's detestable. I mean, looking at House of Pain. CJ was an ass. I mean, excuse me, uh, Calvin was an ass. Almost like, you know, if you look at Zach on Sisters, some people, Zach and Fatima, Zach and Fatima, Karen is annoying, Karen is this, Karen is that. But it's like, go back to season one, Zach was trash. So, and then, well, you got a lot of people saying he's trash in season two for having sex with Karen again. But when you look at uh, House of Pain, it felt like a lot of, uh, it felt like a tug and war because one minute you could be rooting for Calvin, the next minute you could be rooting for Miranda because the other person is acting like an ass, selfish and whatnot. But in House of Pain season nine, it's just here's a perfect example. Um, even though I only watched like a handful of episodes, I don't even think I made it through episode six of season one. Fuller House, what's his name? Steve, um, uh, DJ's high school sweetheart or whatever. The way he was just going after DJ was so desperate it just made me hate the well a fan, it just made fans in general hate the character because it's like bro grow up that was a high school thing it's like both y'all were divorcees well honestly if I'm not mistaken I think DJ's husband was a firefighter and he died but I think uh Steve just got a divorce it's just like you're, it's like you're taking a fan favorite character and just dragging their good name through the mud by making them desperate. And it's like, oh, this character now represents the fans who want these two characters to get back together so much that they'll do, they'll do anything. And it gets to the point where it's just annoying. I mean, hell, what? Miranda was just popping up here and there telling people what her plans were in order to tell Calvin, oh, uh, Calvin, Miranda's going out on a date. Oh, Calvin, uh, I mean, oh, Miranda wants to help Miss Ella. That way, if Calvin comes over, they'll run into each other. It's just stupid. So, 
I just hope if they do get back together, it is done right, not forced. Or, hell, have Calvin and Laura get together. But then again, that also just brings about the question, if Laura and Calvin get together, what will Miranda's purpose be? Who knows? All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for listening to this, not rant, but this kind of like concerned video in regards to Calvin, Miranda, and Laura. Let me know your two cents in the comment section below. And speaking of cents, if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. Not mandatory, but appreciate it. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you soon.